all right guys for kage hero and welcome back to the brand new video here we are again on reverse 1999 on today's video i want to show you the revamped uh, reverse 1999 tier list on pridewin.gg website relatively soon i will make my own tier list maybe some things will differ but definitely i need to say that this website is pretty legit because it it gathers the information for uh, from a huge player base of reverse 1999 and based of all information the tier list has been created okay let me just explain how this tier list work because that's like super important we have global 1.1 cn 1.4 tier list and overall tier list so global 1.1 it is connected with how good characters are performing during the patch 1.1 have in mind the performance of the character will differ from patch to patch okay some of those characters will be constantly s tier some of those characters on other patch will be a tier and so on and so on so we're gonna go in in more detail about that overall how the character performs ignoring the patch specific content and flexibility how easy it's to use character and fit in your team the higher the rating the more teams can benefit from the character or it's easier to build a team around that so yeah flexibility is also re really important part of this game one more disclaimer here guys even when you see an a tier don't say like oh that character is a tier no i only need s tier that's not the case here in reverse 1999 pretty much all characters are usable in certain situations so have that in mind this game is like every character matters in a way okay and then we have tier list criteria you already know that damage dealer support survival okay we also added tags below each character to facilitate understanding their niche and help with the team building that's really cool okay so let me first check out uh, so for the patch 1.1 global this is how the tier list looks like so as tier we have centurion eternity melania definitely melania is top tier character during the patch 1.1 guys i believe i mean obviously the character is designed to be the top tier in the patch 1.1 then we have support top tier characters, which is Anan Lee, Cornbloom, and Pickles when he drops. And then we have, have Madison Pocket. I will create another video talking about best pickle teams, uh, best um, uh, side cubes for him, and should you summon or skip, like I always pretty much do. Cornbloom, again, yeah, she shines during the patch 1.1. I have her, her ultimate seal is so broken. Uh, but furthermore, she does crazy good damage and also she can debuff and medicine pocket with the healing and the damage reduction right here. Then the A tier is A Knight for Moxie gain buff, uh, Charlie Dispeller. And also she is doing crazy damage on PS3, P3 Plus. I'm missing one more copy. Drew is honestly Drew is for this patch. Yeah, A tier, but she performs so good, bro. Like, ah. Uh, a tier here what you can see you can clear all the content during the patch 1.1 okay pretty much i'm using lilia i'm using sonato i'm using Druvis, i'm using dk and i can clear everything okay i'm not even having s tier characters from the patch 1.1 pavia yes crazy good and regular crit oriented ap ge uh, generous where's the flexibility now i can see oh yeah, yeah flexibility b tier yeah like these characters are really flexible you can put them in pretty much any type of team druis is not so much flexible but uh because you need certain team for her. but at the end of the day i wouldn't say she's like that b tier flexibility but fine okay lilia uh again top tier with the crits definitely helps a ton but like i said this 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 damage dealers here are the best for the patch 1.1 that's for sure then we have the support digger sonato voyager i'm using sonato buffer disarm diggers is the debuffer and control type of the character same like voyager here uh, then we have balloon party dk and tenant as a survival a tier characters right here and then the rest of it is b tier i honestly baby blue uh one point b tier for the patch 1.1 overall b tier i don't know 
I, from my experience, I would rank her a little bit higher here. But like I said, this is just my opinion. Like, tier lists are really subjective, so don't take it, like, harsh, you know? Some people take the tier list too serious. Like, we, we all try to create proper tier lists, but at the end of the day, it's really subjective. For some of the things, it's super objective, and we know how it is, but for some, it really differs. For me, Baby Blue... Um, global 1.1 cn 1.4 a tier and then overall and flexibility b tier yeah flexibility i agree uh overall i don't know b plus a tier I, b is a little bit too low for me uh, then we have here beta necrologist twins and x and then here we have uh, for the healing and overall survivability that offers click la source new babel sodaby <coughs> like less source overall c tier but you can still use that character uh you can still use that character to beat the content in the limbo and every tells and this is the c tier app we have matilda door like i want to test him out i am oh i cannot wait to test him out eric nick bottom and so on and so on like you can pause it and check it out now so this is patch 1.1 this is cn 1.4 again there is like new characters 37 black dwarf that we still didn't see as you can see this time charlie is like super good yeah we can conclude that the character power and usability will differ from patch to patch that's something that we can conclude then we have Alan Lee, Pickles Voyager, and then Medicine Pocket, Tooth Fairy right here as a survival. A tier is A Knight, Centurion, Changeling, Druvis Tree, Eternity, Lilia, Melania. Okay, here you can see that Baby Blue is here. So yeah, uh, it will differ. Baby Blue, Cornbloom, Horopedia, Necrologist, Shaman, Sonetto, and then we have Balloon Party, Miss New Babel, and The Fool. The Fool is actually, look, look, look. He is what three star and he's a tier for the cn 1.4 patch so guys this is pretty much the proof you can now pause the rest of the characters this is actual proof that a lot of things will differ as the time will go and depending on the patch we are having the performance of the characters will be different some of the characters will be better some of them will be worse but look at the overall overall tier list so this is we are not looking at the patch we're looking like overall content and this is how it stands a knight s tier bro centurion s jangling s charlie s eternity s millennium regulars s okay this is like top main damage dealers in the game overall at any time then we have support anon leap cornbloom pickle shaman like okay cornbloom i have if i i wish i had anon lee because i'm skipping shaman we're gonna see and then we have here Balloon Party, Medicine Pocket, and Tooth Fairy. Tooth Fairy will be constantly S tier, I believe, no matter what patch we have. Then A tier, we have 37, Black Dwarf, Druis Tree, Lilia. Uh, Druis is becoming better and better. I'm definitely investing in her. Horopedia, Necrologist, Sonata, Voyager, DK, and Sodeby right here. Okay, so this is like a... And here you can pause it and check it out for yourself for the rest of it. Okay, guys, so just wanted to update you with the PrideWin.gg <laughs> um, tier list. Uh, I wanted to show you how everything's categorized. And I need to say they're doing an amazing work for community. Because from here you can learn so much for the upcoming patch. Who is who will be the best. Who you want to work on. Who you want to be focused on. And at the end of the day you can create a strategy. Who you're going to summon for and everything else. Which is extremely, extremely important. Okay guys, hopefully you did enjoy the video. Leave a like, subscribe. Your opinions in the comment section below. Love you. Thank you for the all amazing support. And yeah. See you next one. Bye.